Well, hello there, YouTube. This is Laguna Bardwell back here for another uh, video game session. Uh, I am going to start out first by turning this light toward me because it's kind of dark here. Um, Wee. Yeah, a little better. Anyway, so <clears throat> we're going to start out with a fun story. So, I was at the beach the other day. And me, I, I like things ocean related. So I, I found a crab leg. I even found a honeycomb, but that's beside the point on this one. Um, one of my favorite things to find, which I think this might be biodegrading, unfortunately. But I found these really cool, like, the they're, um, these things. They're the sand dollars. I can hear the sand inside, or it's the biodegrading friggin' pieces of dead animal. Anyway, I learned that these things are actually pretty common, more common than I thought they were, and I, I, I wanted to go to the beach and, you know, kind of collect them. So I did, and while I was searching through the waters, this old lady came up to me and she just kind of held out her hand. And I looked, and she, she was giving me one of these sand dollars, and I was like, oh my god. So yeah, shout out to you, random person on the beach who gave me my fifth sand dollar that day. Hooray! So anyway, yeah, I also found, like, found this, like, chunk of crab leg as well. It was, it's pretty cool. I like collecting beachy-related things, so don't judge me, okay? Beach is cool. So... We are taking a look at a, another VR game today, and the reason I'm going through this one, uh, just double checking this is the right microphone here that I've got hooked up. Um, please be the right microphone. Yep, Blue Snowball. Hopefully that still works. There we go. Excellent day. Cool. So, there was a game that was released back in August 2016. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know what I'm going to be playing today anyway by the title of the video, but whatever. Um, it's called No Man's Sky. And when it first came out, I was probably one of the few people who actually still really enjoyed the game. Even though a lot of people demanded their money back because the game wasn't what they thought it would be and things like that. Uh, there was a lot of refunds that were given for the game apparently, which is... I mean, I can understand why, because a lot of people were expecting something more epic than just wander through planets. Now since then obviously this game has had a couple of updates. I haven't seen these updates myself. That's what I'm getting into today. So I, I enjoyed going through these planets just one by one and tagging all the animals and things like that that I was able to find. So who knows maybe I have a familiarity bias with this game. But I am going to take a look at the new things that they added and see how that works with the game and what what works and doesn't work basically. So anyway, on that note, I have no idea if this is going to use the wands or the controller because it didn't say anything on the new update, but I also learned about this update two days after it came out and it was just kind of a brief little Facebook post. So yeah, who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, well, I guess we're going to start with this. Power button. This headset is a lot different than the previous one. Which is fine, it's just, you know, it, it, it's fine that it's a lot different, it's just, it takes some getting used to, that's all. And whilst, yes, whilst we're getting this up and running, let's uh, wipe the sweat off from the Focus on You VR session. Should have done that beforehand. Oh man, these lenses are so much clearer than the old ones. Like you can, I, you can still see like the little dots and stuff on the surface of the the lens, like where it creates the images or image sections, I guess. But the first VR lens, it, it had this like weird wire mesh overlay. It felt like, and I actually find this headset is a lot more clearer. So I'm probably going to have a lot more positive things to say with the VR games. And that's if I'm even doing VR games at all. Because I, I have some other games on the list as well. But, without further ado, um, 
Yeah. I will need my microphone as well. This one, that's not even a slot. This one's the slot. There we go. All right. So get this thing on. And my PS4 needs to stop going into rest mode. God damn it. Ugh. PS4 will enter rest mode because of the power settings. Yeah, whatever. Let's probably charge this one. And we're going to have to back out of Final Fantasy X. Ooh. So No Man's Sky, where you at, boy? Oh, right, it's in the library. J L M. That's what I'm after. No Man's Sky. And we're going to start the capture here after renaming. Oof. I need to rename the video on my PS4. Or PS4, whatever. You know what I mean. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Tags, great game. Okay, sure. We'll see. Cool. Well, we're going to see how this works. And we're going to try our best. And on that note, let's dive in. Note to self, when I said dive in, that's when the video started, or the game started. Now I've also updated applications using network, oh, really? Do I have to do another fucking update? <sighs> Fine. Jesus, I just updated this game, like, literally a day ago. Like, yesterday I downloaded the game and its update in the hopes to play it today. Okay, would you... I hate these... This microphone is terrible. I actually hate it. Ooh. Can't turn my head. Cool, so No Man's Sky Beyond brings a vast array of new features. Blah blah blah, meet other travelers at the Nexus, take out missions together, meet other travelers at random while exploring the galaxy. Hugely expanded anomaly brings new shops and tech upgrades. Farm, cook recipes, tame and ride creatures. Powered at industrial base parts add new depth and creative possibilities. Hello games and hard work to improve and expand No Man's Sky, we hope you enjoy. Thank you so much! Hold X to select and continue. Uh, we'll play a single player section. Now, the last time I played this, I didn't quite enjoy... I didn't quite pay attention, so I'm going to delete everything and start over again. New game. Now, I like the idea of a few of these things. So some ch chill exploration, more survival, little challenging survival, permadeath. Or creative. Um, we'll go with the normal experience for now. Just because I don't quite... I haven't played this in literally two years. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm feeling this already. Now apparently in this game there's 18 quintillion planets. That's 18 with 18 zeros at the end. I'm assuming as well that these are like the loading progress. It's not anything new that I haven't seen before. Nog de Klingluk.
I mean, it's the Dinksy Forest. Oh, Edof, Edorst, Edorst, whatever. It's a lot of planets, man. Oh, okay. Okay. Locate survival resources. Perform a scan to find sodium. L3. <sighs> Scanner is damaged. Critically, okay. It releases a high energy pulse that reveals any critical survival resources. Blah, blah, blah in the immediate area. I wish this right ear foam piece was just a little bit longer. Choose a new location removing the controller. Release left stick to teleport. Oh, okay. Perform a turn. Use right stick left or right to change direction. R2 to fire the mining beam. Okay, this is pretty cool, but can I use the wands? Let's take a look. Actually, I probably can't. Jack ferrite dust by shooting small rocks. That was not a rock. Scanner required, pair immediately. I need the advanced mining laser. Great. Carbon. Carbon. I'm gonna die. Locate the geode in the inventory and analyze with square. Analyze. I have 138 ferret dice, dice, <laughs> dice, dust, blah. Tech no? Cargo? No? Okay. I need a hematic seal and metal plating. Pure ferrite? How do I get pure ferrite? Ferrite dust, there we go. Repair.
Scan to locate sodium. Yay, I got sodium. Recharge hazard protection. Well, that's a good start. Except for the fact that it's 127 fucking degrees. Reach the marked signal. Exosuit detected, blah blah blah. Craft creature pellets in the inventory. All creatures will eat creature pellets. Okay. How do I craft it? Yay! Um, okay. Reach the signal. Okay. Good. There we go. Feeding creatures. Advanced bait allows creatures to be mounted or farmed. Create advanced bait in the nutrient processor, blah blah blah. Process from a base of fecium or mordite, blend with local ingredients. Bait thrown from the quick menu, may placate predators or other angry creatures, blah blah blah. That kind of doesn't tell me much on that side. Getting around. Survival basics. Hmm. Analysis values will discover their bait. Deploy specific bait.
Oh, I don't have an analysis visor, that's why. Oxygen recycler, hmm. I need carbon nanotubes. Well, I don't know where to get those, so. Carbon. A lot of teleporting, I don't like that part. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel empty cause sentinel intervention, deliver transfer. Sure, broadcast. Investigate the crash ship. Okay. That's not bad, I guess. I need an atlas pass for that. Dihydrogen jelly, okay. Chromatic metal and sodium. Cool, I don't have those. Oh, there's the damage ship. Launch thrusters offline, okay. Pulse engine offline, great. I find myself alone in a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my suit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Let's read the log. Unavailable, great. Substituting data. Exosuit connected. Pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. Un hmm. it's space and atmospheric light propulsion. System is highly damaged, requires metal plating and a hermetic seal to repair. Okay.
Crafting. Press options to read more. Whatever. Metal plating. How do I... Apparently I can make the carbon fiber tube things, but how do I... Hmm. Patch metal plating onto the pulse engine, then find... Pulse... Starship critically damaged. Vital ingredients missing. No shit. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires hemetic seal. Let's request assistance then. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. Search the crash site for supplies. Okay. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones. Hold on to your potato. How do I get out of this? Appearance of the beacon's housing, as well as its distress broadcast unit, it contains a planetary chart. Hell yeah! Press options to read more. I will, after I collect all of this O2. Nope, not that one. I want this one. <sighs> My problem right now is I want to get down to that carbon nanotubes. Oh, nope. Never mind. I'm a dummy. Tech. Multi tool. Yay, I got the analysis visor. Press square to exit, blah, blah, blah. From the inventory to view data. That. And three carbon nanotubes and a hundred chromatic metal. So I'm not going to get that anytime soon, I don't think. Planetary chart.
Where you at, boy? Hold L2, operate. Yay! This thing used to stop fucking falling into my ear. I don't like the teleport to move stuff. Yeah! Something tells me that's a danger noodle. Unidentified.
I'm gonna explore the shit out of this. This seems like the best way to get money in this game. Gutmanite. Already got you. A sodium plant. <laughs> Nothing new? Okay. Yeah, I don't have the chromatic metal for that, so no. Hello archives. Six or seven logs corrupted. Entry four two no four nine two four A follows. No one making this recording in case leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. Yay! I have the hermetic seal. I don't know why my controls are doing some weird shit, but okay.
Come on, controller. Analyze objects for rewards. I already did this. Weep Neoposa. What's that yellow thing? Hey, controller, stop doing this. Stop. Fucking stop it. Okay, so the controls are a little janky already. Not the best, but not the worst. Liquor and I ooh. Speaking of oh wow, how did I end up all the way over there? Stay in my ear. Oh, fuck Jesus Christ. There. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Could you see my fucking ear? God damn. It's not over there. Very tech module. Hmm. Still over there.
I need pugnium. Chlorine, okay. Oh no. <sighs> so do you nitrate? How do I make that? Yes, I hear you, Mir. Don't worry, I'll get to go outside soon. But I can watch you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mir. Really? Not any pure ferrite? Construct a portable refiner. Alright, where do I get a portable refiner? Jesus. Go ahead and jelly. Projectile ammunition. Grease the launch thruster with dihydrogen jelly. I may as well do that first.
Uh, repair works across substances, salvage items, and goods for fine substances. So, craft metal plating. Start up Starship launch fuel. Gather oxygen. I just want to get to the space battles, man. I need a metal plating. Hooray! For which I need 50 ferrite dust. Great! Robinite. Okay, controller, stop doing the thing that you're doing right now. Fuck and stop! There we go. It's doing this thing where it keeps teleporting, like, just in front of me. What's up there? Ooh. I just swore I saw some like ostrich looking thing up here, but okay. But go off, I guess. Metal plating. Ooh, I can select the color. Cobalt and salt. Jarrigrium. Cool. 
Yeah, the ferret does some small rocks. Cool. Oh. Yeah, let's not with the caves right now. That's just not... That's asking for trouble. Let's find some ferric dust. Carbon, that's not it. Okay, fuck off, controller. Ugh. Okay, controller. There you go. Ferric dust. Yay! Seek answers among the stars. Use R2 to take off. Oh my. Oh well. Euclid Galaxy, you discovered this. I've been here. Oh. This is pretty damn cool. Test boost with circle. Hold L1 and R1. Incoming transmission. Source 4925B. I am Kaz. You are not alone. Follow the X planetary coordinates. Cool. So that
high energy planet, contaminated planet, frozen planet, that's where it came from. That's a lot of fucking planets. Or space, I mean. I heard that 25 seconds of pulse time is 47 minutes of planet time. Here we go. Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to do this way. I'm trying to get myself right side up here. Eh, good enough. Okay. There we go. I did a thing, I'm sorry.
Oh. It's a weird looking thing in the distance. External radiation, okay. Vortex cube. Whoever left this message is long gone, okay. No fuel ink failed to reach station, has a protection load, no choice but to underground. Base computer and terrain manipulator, okay. This is new. This was never here before. When place the context Universal Cartographic Archive. To establish ownership of land. Successful registration allows the construction of base modules across any site of the user's choosing. Interesting. One carbon monop mon monopulator. Back here, you. I'm getting right into this. Engerite. Something tells me that beacon leads to something. Unless that's... No, that's around the planet. What's that on the cliff? Is 
Something I've seen. Like I said, they had to go underground. I need more carbon. Stop trailing. Yeah. Where the fuck are you? Controller? Jesus Christ. God damn it, controller. There we go. Eventually my controller will catch up to me here. Fucking stop it. Fuck! There we go. Build a terrain manipulator, okay. They're in my starship, that's why.
There. Triangle using analysis wise to look at deposits. Really? Since my airships ever reach, fucking stay in my ear, Jesus Christ. Salvage data. Alright. That's fun while it lasted so far. Oh. Whew. It's always warm inside these headsets. Okay. So far I'm not entirely sure what to think. Um We're going to stop the recording and go to edit mode quickly here. Like, I mean, it's not a terrible game. It still doesn't have the appeal that I thought it would so far. But that could also be because I played it offline. Now, oh, I'm old. Here's the biggest thing that I don't like about games, by the way, is the fucking updates. I, I'm fine with updates generally, but... In order to go to the internet, you gotta update this program. Like, I understand why. So that way you don't have people playing on different versions of the game. But how, how frequently, like, I just updated this two days ago and it's already got another update that I need to do. That pisses me off. Like, unless it's a major security bug, I feel like if you just wait a couple months, do a massive update, that's much better than doing update now, update now, update now, 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 now. And just, that, that, that annoys me about No Man's Sky. Same thing with Final Fantasy XIV, except Final Fantasy XIV is a whole lot worse because you have to uninstall like 28 fucking games because Final Fantasy XIV downloads every single update file at the same time as one big massive like 60 gigabyte file, updates the game, and then just poof, 60 gigabytes is free. So I, had to, I kept to delete multiple games in order to get into Final Fantasy XIV, which is just fucking Final Fantasy XIV. Anyway, not the point. So yeah, uh, the VR part of the um, No Man's Sky, I'm not keen on it. I'm really not. I mean, it's a good idea. But I just find that it keeps... 
I have nothing reflective around me right now. Unless it's that, like, bit of light coming through the window. But even still, the wands are purple and red, and the controller itself... I suppose, yeah, the controller is blue, isn't it? Hmm. But even still, my camera's pointed this way on the VR, and the computer's pointed this way. So... Ow. That was my ankle, by the way. So I really don't know. That's... I can honestly say I don't like the VR of that, but it is worth playing through as a single-player game. Um, it's hard to explain my thoughts on this one. It's it's still fun to explore, and then now that I know the controls a little better, because I didn't know how to scan and tag things before, now that that's all in order, it's, it's fine. I haven't had any space battles yet, but that could be coming up. I might actually just do another quick little breeze through and we'll get to the space battles when we get to them. It's just so far it's it's leaving me wanting more. But I'm also at the beginning of the game. Now in other cases as well there's like the Vakin, which are like the race of critters and then there's a, some other one as well. The, they teach you words and things like that and that's that's pretty good to see but I got just not there yet. Uh, oh, we're having to do a second playthrough before I can finish going over everything there is to go over. But on that note, though, I um, I don't hate the game, but I also just don't. It's not as, you know. Maybe I'll, next time I play it, I'm not I'm not going to do a VR. I'm just going to do a regular old thing. I'll grab the screenshots I need from this playthrough, and then I'll do the other playthrough stuff later for my blog. Um, but yeah, it's just not quite what I was expecting in an update. I mean, I was also expecting like a big old fucking epic game, but now it's just more exploration. But I mean, exploration is one of the key pillars of the game. There's, there's supposed to be a trading system, so trading is one. Uh, exploration, survival, and I forget what the fourth one is. I'll research it and put it on my blog. Um, exploration, survival, trading, and question mark profit. Um, I guess social, since you'll be able to like base build and stuff like that, and take over other people's bases, which is okay. Um, yeah. That left a lot to be desired, that first playthrough. But, good news is, this is only the first playthrough I'm doing on No Man's Sky, so there's going to be more to come, and when there's more to come, there's more to explore and discover. So on that note, if you guys have any other, other games you want me to play, please recommend them. Um, what else is there? I, I, I'm lost. I just don't know what to think about No Man's Sky yet. I can't make an accurate opinion, which is kind of a weird thing. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to uh, peace and make some supper. Oh, why am I so sleepy? Alcohol makes me sleepy, I think. Anyway, till next time, guys. As always, the Guna Matata, and if you have any game recommendations, please, for the love of God, drop them in the description box down below. I'm more I'm interested to see what is possible out there and I've got a couple of recommendations from people at work about Dick Darkest Dungeon and Code Zero? What is it called? Code Geist? Code, code Zero? Crosscode. Crosscode, that's what it was. As well as Media and Excel for Diablo 2. So there's a couple of options that are coming up. All right, out there guys. I will see you next time and have great blah, 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 good gaming out there. How now, brown cow? Fucking tongue twisting. Blah. Blah. Till next time.